Alrighty guys, how's it going next up in the blueprint, right, blueprint, hello, blue, next up in the blueprint lineup, we got the finger trap for the R9 shotgun hitting up some 12 gauge action, and this one is nothing but nose heavy with a monolithic suppressor, forge tack century barrel, and a tube extension, so this right here is really just going to give you the ability to push out that range and keep that tight pellet spread, and you got the maximum amount of, of shells in the tubes on this bad boy so i mean it's really it's very unnecessary the r9 already has like just more more shell capacity than is necessary and uh, it's already got solid range so I, this is this is quite a bit of overkill on in in those specific areas but i mean you know it, it is what it is what we'll, we'll try to have some fun with it and face off probably make some people have a very unpleasant gaming experience but that's just what's going to be full class rundown we got our finger trap r9 we got a Renetti with Burst. It's the same setup that I had for the past for the Huga, whatever it was called, for the Gra, Perks, ZOD, Ghost, and Battle Harden, and Lethal Frag. And then we got our Stun Grenade. Ah, right, here we go. Station. We got Grind. I swear, bro. Grind seems to be the main game mode for Face Off. But we'll rock and roll with it. You know, this is just a rare ADS time. Since we don't have nothing else on the back end, the ADS time still isn't horrible, but this is as nose heavy as you can get. With this shotgun, these, this kind of a tactical combination basically for any shotgun that's out there. And I hate to be doing this to these guys because I know, I know they're going to get very frustrated getting popped, locked, and dropped with the old shoddy. But that's just that's just the nature of it, mate. I decided we was going to cover every blueprint in this here in this here Season 6 Battle Pass. So, I mean, that's just uh, that's how the cookie crumbles sometimes, okay? That right there should have hurt that man a lot more than it did. And we didn't double pump it. So one thing, you know, this isn't about tips or tricks for the R9, but if you're looking to use the R9, always make sure that no matter what, you, you go ahead and you double pump. You get both those loads out of there. That's what she said. <clears throat> but yeah, because like if not, then you just got that one shot left over on the side, then you're gonna have a, you're gonna have a bad day because that one shot's never really gonna be enough to hurt somebody unless you just have it stuck right inside one of their orifices, like their belly button or their mouth or their nose or their ear or anything that's in the lower anal region. So let's get that stun out there. See if we, if we get this guy immobilized. Now they're using ARs, I know, that's what I deserve. That's what I get for popping them with the old 12 gauge buckshot. But I mean, like, it's it's part, it's for the video. You know what I mean? We're not bad people. We're just here trying to, to trying to fill a need. Oh my gosh, drop shot, oh, and I drop shot him too. I know he's cursing under his breath right now. Even if he's eight years old, he's gotta be letting some of the F-bombs go. Boom, there's the range we get though from that forge tax sentry and Actually, you know what? I, I might say, I might, this might just be one of the, the, the wider pellet spread instead of the longer range. I should have looked before because I don't remember. I hadn't looked at the R9 attachments in a while. I haven't really done anything with the R9 class setup wise. Where'd he go? Come on, pop, 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 double pump, and still not enough. That right there is outside of this thing's effective range. Not to mention, we got, ooh, yes, roller coaster, my ping, baby. I love it. I love it. Attach it to one of those Bluetooth vibrate, vibrator dudes you can see on Instagram all the time, but. I feel like that right there would would, would lead to a, a very uh, a very hectic experience for any individual on the receiving end of such things. Okay, so they're gonna be spawning down on this side. Let's see if we can meander our way in, at least get a nice five tag deposit. And we're gonna get all we're gonna get all we got all seven. Look at us go, baby. So th this season season's battle pass has a lot of legendary blueprints that that come up after you get like midways towards like the final end. Of, uh, of, of, the, of the battle pass this season and I'm really looking forward to getting to those but uh, there's quite a few just like rare blueprints and stuff that are very underwhelming that we got to get through first and this just happens to be one of them you know this is not one that I see people using for any reason whatsoever aside from you know like, just picking them up in Warzone and then maybe using them in the uh, the gunfight blueprint game mode that is now you know all the rage amongst the people that like doing the 2v2 situations or you know if you just find yourself making a video about the specific blueprints themselves so yeah that's just that's how it is so you know i understand if, if a lot of you guys aren't really into some of these rare blueprints but i thought i'd cover them for those that are in the mood to get down on the rare side where'd that guy go that's just a tag okay out here seeing apparitions and mistaken tags for grown military men we are really bending these kids over and i feel bad for it because 33 to 7 that's just that's just not good okay now we got somebody pulling out the old origin shotgun let's pop this to where this guy go i know he's around here somewhere Chilling like a villain. Oh, and we almost turned on him. If I'd have aimed in, I probably would have got him. Despite the lag. The lag actually might be helping me. I played a game yesterday where I was lagging really bad, but for whatever reason, bro, it was just all it was working for me. That's all I gotta say is because 
I would just like, I would suddenly, like, I'd, be, I'd come face to face with somebody, and then I'd glitch over to the right, and it's like it wasn't registering for them, and then I'd just like scope in, and then, you know, boom, they get bodied. And I was like, you know what, for once, lag gods, you, or I, I guess we can call them lag demons. The lag demons took and, you know, they done something nice for me. They was like, we, I know we, we've been screwing you over now for going on about a year, so we'll give, we'll give you one game where the lag kind of leans over in your favor. If only they could do that whenever I was in Warzone. I popped another Warzone win yesterday. But it, it was just one of those situations where I ended up backing into, like, the perfect high ground. And, and you know, I was still getting some, like, two, three hundred uh, ping spikes. Drop shot. Yep, had to do it to you, brother. Um, and, yeah, that's that's what really led to me me taking home taking home a fat W in that particular match. Oh, my God. Just pulling that. What's he got now? Rocking the rimming 700 iron sights. I'll see how it is. Got to pull out the big guns on you, boy. Yeah. He's still on top of the tree. He knows I can't get him up there. That's what he's going to do. He's going to try to come back for that. He's going to try to get that comeback. Where's his teammate at, though? His teammate, I think he's still being a ground. Lag? Can you calm it down with the not applicable? I mean, I know this. I'm sure Modern Warfare can't count that high, but... Uh, we got Clint Eastwood in here just rocking it out with the Red Dead Redemption looking skin. I don't even know who that is. That's the first time I've seen it. Let's, let's get some. If we can get this guy stunned where he can't move, there we go. And we just need two more. Where'd he go? Where'd, pop, pop, pop. What? What? What kind of lag? Okay, is, see, now they're probably just pulling out the lag switch, mate. We got hackers in the middle of Vietnam just pulling out lag switches on me. Here we go. Let's get all these tags. Just lay down. And that's all she wrote. Getting a fat W either way. KD could not be. We only got six kills. That's ridiculous. I feel like we got way more than six kills. But anyways, guys, there you go. That is the finger trap. It's just a rare blueprint. Nothing crazy. So, you know, I really don't even recommend trying this when it's not that nice. It's just... It's kind of stupid, but as always, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to hit me up in the comment section, thoughts, opinions, feelings, political views, ideologies, conspiracy theories, whatever else you feel the need. Hit that thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't already shared your friends. Until the next one, adios.